a pleasant good afternoon audience i was now editing together a video there to drop you know with this whole kizel watson you craziness that is going on here we're going on kizel and mr duke mrs jackson and mr duke you all need to stop y'all y'all need to stop this now please i beg you all here no trust me i, I know edit up a video the joking and i was going and put that video out with the other one i made this morning with all the joking when some stuff was now sent to my phone listen to me please i i'm gonna tag both of all you in this video because i was i normally i was not call you but mrs jackson mrs jackson and mr duke you all need to stop this i have just gotten nude photos and videos of kizel jackson sent to my phone nude videos and photos of miss kizel jackson has just been sent to my phone this is getting out of hand now you all need to, you all need to stop this and stop this now no this listen listen it was one thing and, and i said it from the beginning you can move like a panty man coming and putting that woman information out that you slept with the woman that was a panty man move but brother man i am telling you now if it is you leaking these nude photos of this woman please i am begging you so stop this stop this this woman has a repeat listen and yeah, and all these other people who things came out and they think they, they know they they recovered from it but but it is a stain left on your reputation for the rest of your life this woman this woman now come out and say she 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 slappy and the reason why she slappy was because you was a homosexual or you, you was being a homosexual or whatever the case brother hear what i tell you all here you see this shit that all you doing you see this shit all you're doing this thing is let me tell all you something this thing is getting out of control this thing is getting out of control this woman this woman nude photos is all over the internet and social media now this is this is it is disgusting i tell you i know edit the video i know going and post the video to have a little laugh off of the situation only to see I had, I had pending messages. People saying, boy, how come you're not replying this that when I check? You trying to tell me, listen, whether or not, whether or not, let me tell you something. I'm not accepting that, Omar. Coincidence is everything. All the time this woman didn't have nothing like this floating around the internet. She didn't. As you and the woman fall out, all of a sudden there's naked photos of the woman all over the internet. Come on, man. Come on, man. Even if it is a case that he did not do it, the time frame for when it's taking place is very distasteful and very disgusting. And I'm telling you, for two people who are trying, let me tell you something, right? Let me tell you something. They're not understanding how this is going to, this is going to damage Watson Duke. Whatever political aspirations that Watson Duke had, it just went out the door. And let me tell you something, I am all down for the good laugh and the back and forth and who say who is a funny man and, and who sleep with who. I all down for the little kicks and the little joke in it. But it's a whole different ball game when naked photos of individuals and videos of individuals are being circulated. That is a whole different kettle and nasty fish you're going down. And this is why I always have said it and I tell people, please get vexed with me when I say this, you know. The problem with most of us men out here, most of us men, is we can't beat and keep it a secret. We can't collect we nudes. You got a woman send you nudes. I just always tell people this, you know. Why you feel, you feel you never had women send me nudes? And I don't ever keep it on my phone. Because the minute a woman reach her mind space where she could send you a nude photo of her, there's a possibility that you have access to that woman. You could get to eat her food. You could get more. So why would I keep it on my phone? Why would I keep a nude photo of you when you now allow me access to you? There is no reason for me to do that. There is no reason for me to do that. But it's have a set of little boys out here walking around in men clothing. 
That every time a woman send all your nude photo or video, all you have to save it, all you have to archive it, all you have to put it in, in all your Google photos and save it for a rainy day to discredit the woman. Why are we seeing videos and pictures of this woman naked all over the internet? It is disgusting. And this is why they tell all you see me. This is why they tell all you I don't mix, you know. I don't mix because I know the type of man I is. You think it do how women that send these things to me? And not once, not once, you ever see me keep it on my phone, you never see me come and talk it, you never see me put it the information out, there, even if me and them fall out. That's not coming out here. And I am telling you, after this, you see, after this. Let me tell you something. Your political aspirations in this country is over, brother. It is over. And any woman who out of their right mind decide to trust you, brother, with information. Why are you not even studying woman? Any political person, any political person in the political hemisphere who decides to trust you with information about anything public or anything behind the scenes in general and Tobago, Mr. Duke, you just lost the trust. Duke, you just lost the trust of everything. You just lost the trust of everything. Let me tell you something. I don't care who she accused. I don't care who she accused of being gay. There's a difference with me accusing you of something, right? Than me coming out and actually showing proof. That is why I say I now edit the video together where she, where she says she slapped him for, being, for rolling with men. I now edit that. I edit it in a comedic, a comedic way for me to have a laugh. But the, the laugh goes away when I start seeing naked photos of the woman all over the internet. The laugh went out the door. You're taking this thing to a stupid level now. Because the same way how it have nude photos of her, I could bet my bottom dollar, Duke, you have cocoa in the sun too. Literal cocoa in the sun too. And if people start putting your things out there in that kind of way, you will not like it. This is very distasteful. And I don't care if it's not you do it, brother. The reason why these things are coming out in the public domain now is because you couldn't keep your mouth shut about the situation with you and the woman. If it is a case that you know you slept with the woman, brother, and the woman and you have a falling out, the woman wants to resign or they have an issue, you want to do damage control. This is what we have something called lawyers for. You go and you get your lawyer document, draft up, you let the young lady know, listen here, what is he seeing? This, 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 this. I do not want this out in the public domain, right? You, you sign off, she sign off, and all you do these things and keep these things behind the scenes. Right? You could have get your same police report. The only people who would have know about that is the police. And if the police leak that, then that would have been shit on them. But it's not what you do, it's how you do it. And I just keep telling everybody that. The mere fact that you too chose to come to social media to air your dirty laundry about sleeping with this woman, right? Put a distasteful stain on everything that you're doing right now, brother. And she too. And this is what I'm telling all you. In this case, all you have to stop. Both parties need to stop. This shit getting out of hand now. The whole of Trinidad, every, and trust me, is every man, jack, woman, and child. And listen, you, you want to know why this bothering me so much? Let me tell you why. Because one of the environments that my sons does be in, this woman does be in. I see this woman almost every weekend or every other weekend depending on the situation. I see this lady. I see she walks past me and she doesn't even know that A is Obi I walk past. She doesn't know. So how am I now to look at this woman after seeing what I just saw on my phone? How am I supposed to look at this woman now? The same way. It is disgusting. It is distasteful. And, 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 and listen, listen, I will say it again, you know, this is why I just talk to women so much, you know. This is why I talk to sisters, sisters, sisters. I don't care how much all your love we brothers out here i don't care how much we does wow all you you see photos and videos you see that stupid thing where all they click or they feel all they click and all they set it for one view and feel like when you send the photo the man can only see it one sisters there are apps on phones that could save one view photos there are apps on phones that could download one view videos there are apps on phones that store all your information especially this you see this brand 
Nothing you send to a man is safe. Nothing. If you know that the brother loves you and you want to, you, you, he want to see you naked, here what is he see? It's best you do a video call and still that, that and all, not safe with certain parties too because everybody reads screen recording everything now. It's a, it's a set of little boys in big man shell. It's distasteful, it's disgusting, I don't like it. If all it, women, all you have to go back to the old days, you know, women. Men now mustn't get to see no nude photos, no nothing. The first night, the first time you must get to see it is when you reach in my house underneath the roof. I'm, I'm the thing or I under your roof. And still, I want to see where your phone is. I want to make sure you don't have a camera hook up in the room. Nothing like that. Women only have to get more serious with these kind of things now. Because at the end of the day, all they seeing that men don't mean management no more. Men don't mean management no more. This is shit. I don't like it. And whoever do that, brother, use a little, use a little blasted boy, but use a, use a little boy. I telling you, and E and Duke, if it's you do it, Duke, brother, here what is he seeing, brother? You, you just, that is the most lowest, distasteful, disgusting thing you could do a woman, boy, or husband. If it's you do that. From the time it come through my phone, I delete it. I couldn't believe it. From the time I click, I, and it open and I see it as I deleted. I didn't want to see no more. Why it had to reach to this? Why it had to reach to this? Just because one man couldn't keep your mouth shut? Oh God, you eat our food. Hush! Hush! Why that's so hard? Why that's so hard for me to process, boy? I... I will be eating our food with a woman here and we will go out and line and I will line in that circle and nobody will know. You have to be able to, you have to be able to do your thing and hush, boy. This is so distasteful on so many levels there, boy. And let me tell you something, Miss Jackson. I, 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 I used to get, I just get real pong on my platform. Everybody know that. I just get real pong. And you want to know why I give you real pong? It's not really because of the, the, the surgery and all that. Here why I just get pong. Because I always found that it was way too intelligent to be ruling with Duke. I would have preferred seeing you have your own political party. You was way too, more, too intelligent to be moving with him. I just always say that PDP is PNM 2.0. Why you feel I just say that? It's because I know up here the brother ain't that smart. Up here the brother could just talk. And I understand that he's selling black people loo wholesale. All that bread he going around and giving and keeping zest and making friends with all them community leaders. That is PNM politics. That is PNM 2.0. That is why I just give him flack. And I always felt like it was too smart to be rolling with he. And now it proven me right because look what this man doing you now. People. <laughs> Chile and Tobago, here why I tell you all, yeah? This is very disgusting. And like I'm now sending my video that I make with my little kicks video and I'll still post my kicks video. The point I'm making here is this. These people who we supposed to look up to in society is the worst set of examples in society. All of them. From captain come straight down to cook. All of them have, all of them live promiscuous lives. All of them. If they're not interfering with children, they're interfering with, with, with drugs and narcotics, they mix up in crime, they, and, 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 and all forms of individ, um, infidelity. All forms. The only thing is, they get to operate out of the peripheral view and the hands of the law. That is the only difference. They are not role models in society. They are not people to aspire to be to. That is why I make fun of them. Politicians are nobody to look up to. None. Because they don't lead by example. They are mixed up in all sorts of things. It's just that we don't hear about it. And a lot of things we do hear about, we just, just play it off as rumor. But I just always tell people, behind all skin, teeth and laugh, there's a certain amount of truth. And this is what is happening here now. 
what is going on with Mrs. Dukes, what is going on with Mr. Duke, and what is going on with Mrs. Jackson is disgusting. And for him to sit down on a video and say he wife trained, you train your wife to accept mediocrity and infidelity. And this is why I just be telling, when, when I say that women have been dropping the bar, when all you hear me say women dropping the bar and all you dropping all your standards and accepting mediocrity from men, all you just get vexed when I say, but it's the truth. How the ass you could be saying down there and listening to your husband on a live video saying that he's sleeping with another woman on more than one occasion. This woman slapping him and doing him all kind of thing and you still cuddle up out underneath him? Money's a hell of a blasted thing, boy. Money's a hell of a blasted thing. Let me tell you something here. Yeah? And there's these, these standards we want we young people to see, boy. My sons and them dare not say they want to be a politician in this country. My sons dare not. Dare not say. Listen, boy, at this rate, I will quick um, I, I, I will rather see my sons and them wear a mask on their face and run out there behind somebody than be a politician in this country. Because all is scum. All is scum. This is so distasteful on so many levels, boy. And this, and let me tell you something, eh? Somewhere out in Trinidad, because let me tell you something. I see an Indian lady come out now and she talking too. That video where he lied on the bed, that wasn't his wife or Kizel, you know? That was another woman complaining about him being in her bedroom and complaining about him being in a relationship with Kizel, you know? Not his wife, you know? Kizel, you know? And it probably have it probably have plenty more women out there that doing these things with these man. And what I'm saying is this: even if all they're doing these things and all they're hushing all their mouth, somehow all they're taking all their booth breath because some of them they live in home with their wife and thing. And when the wife get them frustrated, they just come and meet all they and beat up all you. And all they staying with them because all they getting money, all they getting to drive wrong in nice car, all they getting to live in posh places, all they taking licks from them, right? But at the end of the day, what do you want? And yes, I understand that it's big contract your wife get. And at the end of the day, she will stay quiet. And it's, it's not only she. It's from the head of government come straight back down. All of them living some kind of promiscuous life behind the scenes. And the wives and them sitting down there. And, and, and then all they want to come. And this is what I say. All they want to knock Tara. All they want to knock Tara for how Tara. At least Tara real. Because you have people sitting down in heads of government and states that are doing wars behind the scene, and then them coming and talk to school children and trying to inspire change. Or they trying to inspire change, or they want people to look up to all your boy? Really? But if you know how disgusted I am to, to see that woman photos, boy. Miss Jackson, I telling you, I just gave a peek on, on my platform for being around here. I should not have to see naked photos of you on my phone. It is totally tasteless. This is this this is this is what you call gutter, gutter rat, canal conks, cesspit politics. And again, Duke, you know you're not understanding. I'm telling you, Duke, if it's you do this, you know you're not understanding, brother. Hell has no fury. Than a woman scorn. And what you don't understand is women does unite, eh? Women does unite. So if you think that here is you see what you doing this woman is going to affect her going forward, women does band together and come back stronger and they will destroy your reputation, brother. So I am begging both of all you stop this nonsense now. It is disgusting. It is disgusting. And that is what I'm saying. You sitting down and and, 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 and let me show you something. Yeah? They used to show you how woman, woman, if Mrs. Duke, you had to be naive and living in bubble land. Because this man put you in a false sense of comfort in your video. My wife is trained. My wife is trained. Like if your wife is some kind of dog. Your wife is trained. My wife is trained. Right? And baby, you know I love you. Don't study what nobody say. I love you, I love you. But you trying to tell me a woman corner you in an office. And you had no choice but to give in. Because you have a pending rape. If you have a pending rape charge, why put yourself in a compromising position to begin with? 
Why you didn't lay down your boundaries from the get-go? Letting this woman know that this is strictly business. It is strictly professional. I do not want no form of fraternizing amongst my staff and around me. Why you didn't lay that down? Why you allow yourself to be caught in a compromising position? And then you trying to say that when a woman pulling you, you can't pull away and you can't say no. So let me tell you something. She rip all your clothes off you. She handcuff you there. She pull on your pants. She get you too hard for you. Because I'm being honest with you, all the manner is. Same way how a woman wouldn't like a man to take something from them by force. There is no way under the sun if a woman taking something from me by force and I don't like it, my tool is enough. I'm not going through that. So what kind of loo you trying to sell to the nation wholesale? I just always tell people, me don't mind you trying to sell me things resale, you know, but don't try to jilal me. You see the minute you try to jilal me and sell me bullshit wholesale, I have a serious problem with that. And that is what you're doing. You're trying to sell the nation loo or, or, or she hold it. You make it seem like if the woman had a gun to your head, the woman never had a gun to your head. Is you put your gun probably in she mouth? And how long? How long? Because I, because I have a question to ask you. If it is a case that she taking it against she will, how long is consensual before against you will? Because I sure you perform the whole session. If you're getting it taken from you against your will, why you perform the whole session? And why you went back for probably seconds, thirds, and fourths? The same way you reach the police station to make a report. You couldn't reach a police station and make a report? You couldn't let somebody know, hey, this going on behind the scenes? You couldn't let your wife know this woman is making subtle approaches towards you? You did nothing, brother. You did nothing. And now it is a situation, the cocoa out in the sun now, right? Literally, the cocoa out in the sun, you decide here, what is you see? You want to, you want to, you want to, all the woman nudes. All the woman naked photos all over the internet. Men feast in their eyes. Silicone, let me enjoy. Silicone tat tat, silicone ass, silicone pum pum, silicone jaw like. Yes, put it out there, let everybody see everything on cheese plastic. Boy, all this jackass boy. Real. Real. I am highly, highly disappointed, highly disgusted, and very motivated because of this situation. It is nastiness. And for all the men who just be leaking these women nude photos and, and pop past sex videos and think, why, why all this do it? It has no benefit to it, boy. What do you get from it? What you get? Half all you leaking video with woman, all you can perform. All you leaking video with woman and all you can perform in the video. Half all you them women light all them say, yeah, you know, it was real good. And that time she had a hundred and ten times better. Half all you can perform. And all you be leaking these women and them videos. Why, boy? Why it is when a woman says she done and things of all they can just go all your freaking way? Hush all your mouth fade into the sunset. Why all they can't do that? Why women and men can't do that? But especially men. Let me tell you something. I do it. Mr. Duke, on behalf of my platform, Mrs. Jackson, on behalf of my platform, and all the followers that follow Opinion Box, please you all. Let us encourage these people to stop this. For everybody who has the nude videos and photos of this lady, can you all please delete these videos? Can you all please remove these videos? Please do not post these things anyway. Do not share these things. These people have reputations. And at the end of the day, they have already done enough damage to their reputation. They don't need us to do more. They do, I just always tell people, Make a better version of yourself. Make a better version of yourself every day. And that means little things in your life that could change. You just aspire to... You, you will never be perfect, you know. But you could put in work to at least start to get there. Make a better version of yourself every day. It's a motto I believe in strongly. Because I try and encourage people. You don't, you don't have to look up to the government or nobody to be better. You can find that change in here. Change starts with me, Dread. The person who leaked them videos, you didn't think before you leaked that video. Okay, how this benefit in you? You get paid? If it's not Duke do it and somebody do it, did you pay you to do it? Did you pay you to do it? How much you get paid? 
And you give as you do it. Okay, what you gain from this? What you gain? People, you're all going on, eh? Make a better version of yourself every day. I, 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 I'm done. I'm done. I, I don't like it. It is distasteful. Again, I am apologizing. Mrs. Jackson, I am apologizing on behalf of my platform and, and the stupid people in Trinidad and Tobago who is sharing your videos. I am sorry that there are stupid people in this country that is naive enough to, to do these kind of nonsense. I am sorry. I am, you, you understand how our people are? You know that majority of us have no sense? I am sorry. I am sorry that it has to reach to this level. It's over. You, your political aspirations for Trinidad and Tobago is over. Don't even waste your time. It is over. It is over, over. Because nobody will trust you with nothing going forward. Nothing. I will not trust you with nothing. Nothing under the sun, Mr. Duke, I will trust you with. And that is just the truth. If you can't keep your mouth shut about things that went on behind closed doors in a bedroom or office or wherever, I can't trust you with the secrets of the nation. I can't trust you with my treasury. I can't trust you with parliament. And I can't trust that you will do what you say you're going to do to take care of the people of my nation. As far as I'm concerned, it's best we stay in the hands of the blasted PNM. Because here, where is he seen? I can deal with one set of lying to me. I don't want to put a second set inside and it to go through the same set of lies, the same set of disgrace. Brother, man, you are a shame. A shame and a dookie, a wet dookie, staying on a white drawers, a white foot of the loom drawers to the society of Trinidad and Tobago for what you're doing right now, brother. It is distasteful. I don't care what nobody say. It is. And for two big adults, you all shouldn't be doing this shit. I expect this from from teenagers and, and even teenagers have enough sense not to do this these is two big hardback adults in the late 40s or 50s and you're doing this nonsense it is distasteful and every politician under the sun right now is laughing at you all you all don't understand this is why we can't move the pnm this is why we can't move none of these political parties that has been shitting up our economy for decades because every time we think a better solution coming along to try to save us to uplift us to break the shackles of mental slavery on our people you all prove to us that you all are exactly what everybody looks as us as niggas and we can't rise above that we can't break that cycle are we supposed to look up to all you? Or is just proof to me that you're just as shitty as everybody else? I got Chance to be going enjoy the evening. Chance to be safe. Make a better version of yourself every day. I got it.